Recently, I wrote an Apple script which will allow you to add items to a list through the mail program. So you email yourself some text and it will add that text to the bottom of your list. This is good for stuff like grocery lists, to-do lists, and other stuff like that. Uh, it's just an Apple script, a mail rule, and a plain text file. And I'm going to be showing you how to do this. It's actually pretty easy. To start off, we'll need a plain text file. So hit command, go to Finder, hit Command Shift A, and go on down to Text Edit. We'll open Text Edit up, and here we go. We need a plain text file. I have mine set to open up as plain text, but this is what rich text looks like. Notice the bar on top. Hit Command Shift T, and it changes on over to plain text. You can also go to Format, Make Plain Text. Although it says rich text right now. Also, you might have wrapped the page on, which looks like this. If you look at that or that, and we just need a plain text file. Doesn't matter how it looks, as long as it's a plain text file. We'll hit Command Shift S, and we're going to save this as Grocery List dot text txt. Hit the Save button, and that's it. We'll quit all of text edit, and the next thing we'll need to do is set up our Apple script. To set up the Apple script isn't that hard. Download it from the link on the right or in the blog post, and you'll download the zip file. Then open the zip file and you get this script right here. Open that up. Now what we're going to do is we want to go and we need to edit all these properties. That's all you need to edit. To start off, we have the key. The key is what you want as your little bit of text, but identify it as a thing to add to your text list. Right now, if I type in gl colon space and then we'll say cheese, then and I send myself to me, myself an email with that as a subject line, then it will add cheese to just that. It'll add cheese to the bottom of my list. So my identifier, my key is GL. You can change it to whatever we want. And the next thing is file path or actually list path. That you just grab your text file that you made. This one we just made, and we'll drop it right onto the right between the quotes. We have a quote at the beginning. And at the end, those are backwards. And that's the path to our text file. Then we have have space and have colon. The one means that's on, the zero means that's off. As an example, right now we could, I'll bring that up for you, we could type GL and then type in cheese. So if both of these were zeros, then we have no space and no colon. Now, if we have one, well, let's see with the space on, we type GL space cheese, and I'll add cheese to our list. If we have GL colon cheese, then we'll add cheese to our list. So, if we have colon on, then we have to have a colon. If we have space on, we have to have space. If we have both on, then we have to have colon space. And I prefer having both on, which is why I have it set to default. default. Once you've done all that, Save your Apple script. You actually need to save it somewhere. Uh, save. So save it to your home folder, library, scripts, which isn't here yet. So we'll just make the new folder. New folder, scripts. Say create. And there we go. We're saving as grocery list.script. And we have it all set. Next, we need to set up the mail rule. So now we're going to add the mail rule. To do this, launch mail, there we go, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to preferences, command comma, and select rules. Let's actually let's remove that rule first. Let's add a rule, and this rule we're going to call grocery list, and if any, subject contains, actually one begins with, and we're going to add GL. Now you want just GL, and I'll explain later why, but you don't want to do colon space even if that's set up. Now we're going to say, run Apple script, and we're going to say choose, and we're going to go to library, scripts, right there, and grocery list. Choose that, you're all set, say OK and you'll see don't apply. Now close that and hopefully somebody sent us some email. Now keep in mind if anybody sends you an email with GL then it's going to process the email. So you might want to choose something a bit more 
less likely to happen. So if you work at a glue factory, you probably want to stay away from GL. Anyway, we have GL set up, and I sent myself two emails, and I'm going to show you what you can do with this. So with Command Shift N, it's going to check for new mail. We'll go to Command Zero, and we receive these two new messages. And you'll notice here the subject is GL and the body is crackers and wine and right here the subject is cheese but we have GL at the beginning not junk not junk emails from myself with junk that's so weird now we'll select the message and to make sure that our Apple scripts work we're going to say apply rule there we go deletes the message we'll then go to our grocery list.txt file and look cheese is right there Let's apply our rule to the other message, the one with the stuff in the body. Hit command option L, it's gone, open our grocery list, and there it is. So as you can see, when we receive an email, we can add the item to the bottom of the list. And now that I have it set up, I'm not saying myself as junk mail, then it will automatically add it for me. And so basically I email my I'm hopping my iPad touch, I email myself gl colon space cheese and it will add cheese to the bottom of my grocery list and I know it's get. So that's how you can set up a automated grocery list email thing. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.